Mr. Chairman, I want to thank the hard work that the House Appropriations Committee has done in crafting a bill that in so many ways is making the tough choices necessary to bring back fiscal sanity to Washington. I'm pleased that they have incorporated a bill that I had earlier filed in this session, H.R. 69, which also would eliminate taxpayer subsidies for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. There are a number of well-known accountability groups, such as the Club for Growth, Americans for Limited Government, National Taxpayer Union, that have all endorsed this end of funding for taxpayer-supported broadcasting. You know, if we go back in time, in 1967, when the Public Broadcasting Act was first enacted, the intent of that act was, quote, to provide telecommunications services to all citizens in the United States, unquote. Well, that was, that's been accomplished. That was over 40 years ago. Now we have 500 channels on cable TV. People get uh, internet access at their cell phone. Uh, we have uh, uh, satellite wireless available around this country. We have so many media options that are available now that were not available 40 years ago. So we have fulfilled the purpose of that act. Now that Republicans are in control of the House, we're getting serious about getting the economy, excuse me, the budget under control. Now there is some good programming that the Corporation for Public Broadcasting produces that I personally enjoy and like. But that's not the issue of whether we like it or not, it's whether taxpayers should subsidize this form of broadcasting. When, uh, when something puts out good quality programming like the corporation does, they could survive if they wanted to go into the free market and get funding, whether it's selling advertising or something like that. They are perfectly capable of surviving, and not just surviving, but thriving in the open market because they do have some good quality programming. They don't need to rely on taxpayers. And when you look at what a deep fiscal hole we are in now as a country. For instance, this annual deficit that we're in the middle of right now is going to be $1.6 trillion, the highest in the history of this country. The time has come to end funding for government programs that are no longer necessary. So it's a matter of fiscal responsibility and fiscal sanity that the Appropriations Committee has produced this amendment. It's not against the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, but it's for the taxpayers saying you don't have to keep subsidizing something that no longer needs the government crutch that it originally was given. The amount of money we're talking about is considerable. If for fiscal year uh, 2011, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting appropriation is $430 million dollars for next year, the 12, it will be $445 million. And President Obama's budget request that it was just submitted, uh, that we got on Monday, asked for $451 million for 2014. That's almost half a billion dollars. When we have one and a half trillion dollar annual deficits, we have to get our budget under order. And the reason is, because by leaving money in the private sector, that will create jobs. Rather than the government and the favored programs having the money, if that money can stay in the private sector, people can invest and create private sector jobs. And those are the jobs that Americans are really looking for. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.